In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up a new tombstone duplication glitch in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. And also, I'll be showing you guys how you can do it inside of the Dark Eater as well. Quick word from today's sponsor U4G and they provide the best Call of Duty service 50% off card points and cheap card redeem code they have new service up and schematics and consumers unlock they are trusted by 1000 anxious pilot click the link in the description use this code code piney for 5% off so the first thing you want to do is go to your strike team and choose a character with a large backpack or maybe a small backpack so for me i don't have any character with large backpacks so i guess i'm stuck with a small one now you want to go ahead and gather all the items that you want to have save in your tombstone stash and also duplicate that for me these are the items that i will be using if you don't have the items you can go to your schematic crafting and just start crafting some legendary tools or whatever item you want to have save and duplicate from there you can go ahead and you can carry a insured weapon so you can choose whichever weapon you want to carry but i'm going to carry a contraband for this but it do work with the normal weapons now you can choose to select your decoy and your a throwing knife and let's go but before we get into it we want to go ahead and go to our story mission here make sure that we have the ac4 bad signal mission activate make sure that it is activate and if you complete it like you can see you don't need to activate it because it will always be there on your map for you to use any given time now we can now go into the game and we're gonna be doing this solo now once you have made it into the game, you want to make your way over to your tombstone if you have an existing tombstone. Now you want to go ahead and break it before you actually go ahead and set up a new tombstone. So let's make our way straight over to my tombstone. Okay, so we have made it to our tombstone. So you can then throw down a decoy grenade and just grab all your items. So I basically got all of these items here. I'm gonna have to drop them. Okay, then. Okay, now we can go ahead and grab all of these uh, scotcher here. And now these are all the items that I had. So let's actually use this. And we can use one of these scotcher case too. So we can actually move around them up pretty fast. Okay, so at this point, we need to get ourselves some essence because I don't have any essence and I'm going to need to buy a tombstone perk. So let me bring up my map and look around for a tombstone perk machine. And yeah, there's one really, really close by. So I guess we can do maybe a few missions and we should uh, be able to buy a tombstone. We just need to do at least one mission. Because to buy a tombstone, it only costs 2000 So, yeah, let's actually do that mission real quick. Okay, so we got our body down and we got a self res. Okay, we can't take that. We already got a self res, but uh, now we have the 2000 So, we should be able to afford a tombstone soda. So, let's make our way back over there. Okay, so here we are by the tombstone soda machine. So let's actually just grab one of these. Let's go ahead and grab this real quick. Okay, now we got a tombstone soda. So from here we can uh, go to the ARC 4 and we can now duplicate our items. So let's go. All right, so we have made it to the ARC 4 byte signal. You can see it's right there. So uh, let's actually make our way over to this place here and we're going to activate the, the teleporting that will make us wait. There's another tombstone machine here. Uh, let's actually go up here and go activate the teleport thing where we can be able to teleport and 
so this method we're gonna be using is gonna be the same teleport method where we teleport out of boundary and then the game is gonna just uh, eliminate us as well as taking us into the uh, act 4 bad signal thing and uh, with that process you will be able to duplicate your items as well as setting your tombstone so yeah that's pretty much cool and uh hopefully we can get some more some easier method for the season to reload which will be here in just a few days from now make sure that you have some extra essence because you're gonna need to have at least 1000 essence in order to use the teleporter now let's go ahead and show you guys the combination that we'll be using in order to do this okay so um these are the combination that we'll be using today so we're gonna be using this little q thing here i don't know if i can point it's right there and we're gonna be using this one as well as well as that one right there that little anchor thing so let's actually activate them i think this is the next one then this okay somehow you have to get it the right way yeah so you're gonna shoot this one first then that then that okay that's exactly how it goes now you're gonna activate with it with a thousand and then you're gonna go straight over to the arc four just like that just go straight over to the arc four and yeah let's let's actually do this okay i guess that dude is doing the glitch as well uh yeah let's just grab this thing here Okay, just activate it and just just keep moving you're definitely gonna be able to do this if you slide you move a bit faster so just keep running just keep on going don't stop for nothing at all let's keep going we got 10 seconds let's just go through here and it's gonna take us over here just keep running once it hit uh, two you're gonna vote yes just like that we vote yes then once this reach in uh, six or somewhere there we should be in here okay i think we're a tad late but uh it should work don't worry now it will bring you in here but just watch this okay so you want to close your game just like that guys now we're gonna go over to our gears and voila you guys can see that uh we got all of the items that we had and we also get to keep our contraband we also got our self revive and also our life vest and we somehow we lost our throwing knife no i think i did throw my throwing knife so that's why it's not here but you guys can see these stuff are duplicated and yeah hopefully my tombstone is still there because i did do it just a little bit late but let's see if our tombstone is there we're gonna go back in with the same items and yeah let's see okay so as we are loading in you guys can see my tombstone is displaying right there on the screen so let's actually make okay so we have made it to the dark eater uh riff so basically we're going to need to place our sigil right here but before we do that we need to go ahead and activate the teleporting portal thing so let's actually go ahead and, and you will also need to have a sculpture because obviously you cannot reach all the way over there in time if you don't have a sculpture so definitely gonna need that so let's go ahead i'm gonna use my scotcher and uh, you can pack a punch it um i don't necessarily think it need to be pack a punch but let's actually test it out and see uh let's max do then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glide all the way over here okay there we go so let's go ahead and do that then we're gonna need to make our way all the way over there so let's use a scotcher boom okay let's glide all the way down here we gotta do this really fast because everything is all about cooldown and timing so let's just activate this real quick okay 
activates, charge your sculpture immediately and just start moving. Pull your parachute just like that and just glide all the way into this window over here. Should be able to make it proper sculpture, keep moving, put away your weapon and then just go. Okay, then you're gonna go all the way out the boundary just like that. Then vote once you see two seconds. Okay, just like that. Then just give it some time. Then rent in once you are five seconds or probably uh, Tinder seconds. Okay. Boom. How oh, we got eliminated. It should get eliminated. Yeah, you can hear the elimination screen. Once you hear the elimination sound, that's all you want to hear. Once you hear it, you don't have to necessarily see it. But once you hear it, that means it actually did work. So, yeah, <laughs> we're going to be going to the dark eater now. And our tombstone should be set with the few items that we have. As well as it should deprecate all of her items too. So, yeah. I'm happy for that and that's actually how you do the latest tombstone deprecation glitch and also go to the dark eater and uh, yeah sometimes you the timing if you don't get the timing right you will just lose some of your weapons and stuff like that I experienced it while doing it uh, doing videos um, and I had to redo it over again it's not easy or convenient but I mean it's doable so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.